today, making meatloaf. So, garlic, bell peppers, onion, serrano. I have 73-2 beef. Uh, this is just something I had laying around in my fridge. We got the eggs and we got uh, breadcrumbs. We're gonna try to fancy this up a little bit. But first we need to start chopping because I wanna actually saute these veggies and then I'm gonna throw some concentrated duck fat into it uh, to get some more flavor in there. And so that's what we're doing now. Takes that onion, put it in a bowl or some other spot so you can cook everything else. Let's go with an orange. What do you think? Orange? Look good to you guys? Oh, look at that. Homemade duck stock. Yummy. Get all the seeds out of the way. Just a little bit bitter in the food, so don't have that. Try to get these pretty much the same size pieces as the onions because you want them all to cook the same. Okay. So one whole bell pepper and then I'd say about half a serrano. Cut that in little chunks. Got that done. And now let's get some garlic. Five, fuck it, five. Smash it with the other side of your blade. Easy peasy. Smash. Just a smidge of olive oil. Smidge, just enough. Coat the bottom once it gets heated up. And we're not going to caramelize these onions or the vegetables. We are just trying to cook them so they're a little softer and they don't have as pungent of a flavor. It's starting to smoke, so that's good. In there. The trick is, get them in there fast and cover them with oil. You're trying to mix them all around, covering the whole thing. Try to keep, keep uh, onions off the side as best you can. Bell peppers, garlic, and serrano. Yeah, same thing. Try and get the oil all over all of it. Also, if uh, you're not used to pepper and you kick it, sometimes the, uh, the steam and smoke from the serrano or any kind of pepper you're doing will actually smoke out the whole kitchen and it uh, make you see it's harder to breathe. So just give it a heads up. A little pinch of salt. Not too much right now because we're gonna throw salt and everything else later. Pepper. Same deal. Time in there. So, so the sugars uh, from the onions, if you can see, 
uh, they're starting to get a little brown, a little translucent, but there's also a little bit more darkness on the back of the pan. That's the uh, sugars coming out of the uh, onion, sticking to the pan. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna deglaze it a little bit with this duck stock that's concentrated, so. I wish I had some red wine. Oh, a little lemon. A little lemon there, just kicks. Once you have done, see they're a little brown, translucent. They're not completely cooked, but they're, they're damn well on their way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cool down the process by sticking in a sheet tray, and then we're sticking the fridge. Or just let it cool off to the side. Put this in the fridge, that that fridge, and uh, see you in like 10 minutes. So while that's cooling down, guys, make sure you get your biggest bowl because it's gonna take a bit. And we're gonna shove in there about two pounds and a, two pounds and a quarter of ground beef, and also we need to whisk up the eggs, and we're gonna throw some other fun stuff in there. See how that tastes. Everyone that I've known in America usually has had meatloaf. If you hadn't had meatloaf, it is just a meat shaped like a piece of bread. It tastes great. Google it. It's fucking awesome. Or wait till the end of the episode. I don't give a fuck. Um, but it's going to be good. It's You can make it healthy. You can make it shitty for you. doesn't matter. We are going to do a little in-between healthy and not. Um, just because I want something that I can eat through the rest of the week. And just to cut off little slabs of meat and shove in my fucking face. So check this out. Two eggs, break on a flat surface. So look at, that's how you kind of want it. Nice mix together, no streaks, cool. It's about two and a half, or two and a quarter. There's all the lovely fixings. Dump all that in there. I wanna throw a good amount of breadcrumbs in here. Not so much. I'm gonna use gochujang. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm fucking sorry. Tablespoon. And now we're gonna add a couple different things. Worcestershire. Leave that, that might need a little more. And then we are going to add dark, super dark soy sauce. rice wine vinegar and you really want to mash this shit in guys you want to mix it as well as possible because it makes it the better it's mixed in the more it won't break and this because I've tried it a different way that I used to do it which is I'm gonna make it into like a little castle on the pan instead of like cooking in the pan so it needs to be all stick together and don't forget your eggs A little more. So guys, if you're wondering, that was um, dark soy sauce. And that was a little Worcestershire. Worcestershire. A little bit more. Black pepper. And a little smoked paprika. enough you will get dirty so suck it up uh -oh. also guys something good to do just to make sure you check what you're doing before before you cook the whole fucking batch take a little chunk cook it off eat it 
it will uh, save you a lot of time because now you know exactly how it tastes. Because I just threw a bunch of stuff in there. Never put in a meatloaf before. So we're going to see what it tastes like first before we actually make the whole thing. Ooh. All right. All right. That's going to be good. All right, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sell this little handy dandy trick. I'm going to put this in here. Basically, that's just in case it doesn't want to pop out right away. We can and just shove it. Let's get this right. There's no air pockets or nothing. Boom. Just like that. Grab some chunks, shove it into each corner. Shit to the side. Get yourself sheet tray. Put aluminum foil on said sheet tray. And I don't have any fucking cooking spray, so what we're gonna do is just put a little olive oil in there. Now here's the pista resistance. You want to slam this fucker down hard enough to get it out. Fuck yeah, first try. There we go, guys. May not look like much, and I'm hoping it doesn't break right there, but we're going to find out once it goes in the fucking oven. We're gonna put the oven at 350, let that heat up, of course. Um, and then we're gonna put it in the oven for an hour to 45 minutes. Now, if you're making a glaze for this, like a barbecue sauce, some whatever the fuck you wanna put on it, every 15 minutes, glaze that fucker up. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now because I just want it the way it is. It just looks delicious. I'm very excited. So yeah, 45 minutes down, put the timer on, leave it alone. So that was in there for 45 minutes at 350 and comes off real easy look at that um guys then make sure you let this thing cool for about 10 minutes so all the juices don't just come out of it which i did i know it looked like a out of the oven but it's a lie That's beautifully. Oh, that's mmm. Mm. Oh, that's sweet. Wow. That's really good. Fuck yeah. It's got because of the Serrano, you can almost It's not spicy, but you can definitely taste it. It's really nice. Mm. What's gonna go with this? Mm. I love meatloaf. Um, fuck you, don't. This shit's good. If you guys want to, you can make a gravy or barbecue sauce, whatever the fuck ever. It's fucking good on its own. Mm. That's that's nostalgic for some reason. Because none of the flavors in here are fucking nostalgic to me at all. Mm. That's good though, guys. Mmm. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Um, 
If uh, you like, please like, subscribe, follow. Um, I am going to be making more interview shows and more cooking videos. Uh, hope this was a little more informative than my last previous ones. I'm working on being better at this. I understand my way of cooking is not exactly the best way of teaching because I don't really teach. I just like, uh, do that. Yeah. So I'm trying my best. Um, measurements have never been my strong suit. And hence why you never see me cook bread. Um, but I hope you guys liked um, and come back and enjoy the channel, man. This has been uh, it's been fun doing this. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna see if I can make a couple more tomorrow or the next day. Just stuff I have at home, what I can make, and see if you guys like it. So thank you so much for showing up, guys. Bye.